Hi everybody. Um, so, kind of an interesting start to this Cooking with Crash segment, or Cooking with Crash. Um, so, I wanted to eat some crispy breaded chicken. But the problem is, because of my diet, and because of health limitations and stuff, I typically can't do that often. Because breaded crispy chicken, for the most part, when I say go out to a place to eat that has breaded chicken, right, or crispy breaded chicken, it's either way too breaded, too loaded with, you know, the panko breadcrumbs, and it's too deep fried, and there's too many carbs, and there's just too much shenanigans, right? Or it's too oily, too buttery, whatever. So if I'm gonna make chicken, right, I would prefer to actually just bake it in the oven normally and do like a light baking and stuff like that. So what I'm actually gonna do today is for dinner tonight, I actually bought some Tyson all natural chicken drumsticks because they're actually, uh, Either that or um, chicken breasts are usually easier to cook when it comes to like breading chicken. You, a lot of people say, oh, tenders are easier because they're smaller. I'm like, not really. Tenders tend to get a little bit messier. They're a lot smaller, so they don't hold as much breading or they don't hold as much eggs and flour. Um, and you're not getting a lot of flavor in tenders usually, unless they're like big tenders. So typically chicken breasts, like actual like chunks of chicken meat or drumsticks usually work pretty well for me. So with that in mind, here's kind of what we're working with. So we've got flour, we've got corn, yeah, yeah, you gotta have corn. Even like, look, I know I shouldn't be eating corn, especially golden sweet corn. I know that I'm cheating a little bit with my meal. But, I mean, if I stick to half a cup, it's about nine carbs. If I stick to half a cup. But, if I don't, you know, stick to that and just eat corn with my chicken, I'd think I'd be okay. But, I'm going to do half a cup of that, half a cup of some unsalted green beans cut up. Uh, and yes, they're both from Winco. And uh, with that, it's about 12 carbs total. But because of the fiber, you're actually looking at about 11 carbs. So 11 carbs actually isn't bad for just the sides. But what's going to add the carbs and what's going to go a little bit over my carb count is going to be the chicken itself because of the extra crispy. It's, it's, it, it's, it. Look, look how it says extra. Alright, and then crispy. Guys, like, I had this lying around, but most of the time, you just want to buy regular panko breadcrumbs. Trust me when I say, you can buy all the different breadcrumbs and all the different breadcrumb seasoning you want. Sometimes you just can't beat a classic panko. So, and I figured I'd try this, but... With it, it's also six carbs. So all together, um, so that that let's see, that's six, and then what was this? Nine, so nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then let's see, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, but minus one, so you're looking at seventeen carbs. So only about a carb or two slightly over my 15, you know, carb limit. So, not great, but, you know. Now, I also have egg whites in here. Three egg whites itself. Um, and I know most people typically when they do, you know, flour, eggs, breadcrumbs, they don't, like, do just egg whites. But I'm running a bit of a thought experiment with this. I know typically it also calls for the actual yolk itself. But I may save this yolk for something later in the future for another video or something. Or as a backup to this in case the egg white theory doesn't work. <laughs> Welcome to Cooking Theory. Well, the show not about video games, but about cooking. Today's Cooking Theory is about egg whites. <laughs> but, you know. 
Um, and then that's obviously going to be the... Well, yes. But this is what's weird, okay? And I'm going to go on a small tangent on this a little bit. It's just breadcrumbs, right? So, why do they come with two... Like, I understand two packets, right? But why shaker bags? Why does it come with, like, shaker bags? Like, this is, this is bothering me. This is going to bother me. Okay. There's a bag. There's a bag. These are shaker bags. Like, I don't... I don't think I actually need this. I, I think, I think the whole point is, so if you're cooking, like, something a little bit quicker and more instant, the whole point of the shaker bags is, oh, well, with the shaker bags, you don't need egg whites or flour and go old school. You can just do everything all with the one coating mix. But that ruins, like, half the experience. I mean, look at the instructions. Moisten with water, two and a half pound bone-in chicken pieces, or two pound boneless, skinless chicken breast, six to eight pieces, six to eight pieces, or moisten with water for six to eight, one and a half inch thick bone-in or boneless pork chops. Okay, so bone, you know, pork chops or chicken. Shake chicken or pork, one or two pieces at a time, in shaker back with one packet coating mix. Disregard bag and any remaining mix. Bake, and then you're done. So, I guess the point is I don't need the egg whites, the flour, or this does what the egg whites and flour does. I don't understand that. I don't like that. So, I'm going to go a bit more old school, and I'm going to trust my gut on this. Egg whites, flour, mix, and... uh we're going to just go a bit more old school with it, and then when we're done, uh, 400 degrees, um, it says about like 20 minutes for boneless, bone-in for four, uh, 45 minutes, but these are drumsticks. I'd argue 15, 20 minutes ought to be fine, So, and if they do really need to be cooked extra longer, I can do that, that's not an issue, but they're just drumsticks, so... Anyhow, uh, this opening segment's gone for almost eight minutes, so we're going to get prepped and started, and I'll see you in a bit. Hello. So we're going to attempt to do this the Walmart way-ish. This is so weird to me. I don't, I don't like this. This feels very weird. I, I can't... And I guess I'm just re misreading the instructions on the box but the way they want you to do it they're like oh so they want you to moisten the chicken right get it all wet and moist and you know gently watered so that it's got a nice very like a glistening glaze to it and it's all wet and shiny and ooh. And then they want you to, they actually do want you to skip the whole process and then just yeet it in one of these with the coating. So I guess here's what we're going to do. So dumb. Oh, and they want you to use a one eighth of the pouch. How do you measure one eighth of a Measurements! I understand they exist, but I don't like them sometimes. Sometimes they're a little stupid. It's gonna take some time to realize the measurements are kind of dumb. So, okay, one eighth would imply. Two one fourths, I guess. Oh no, that would be two eighths. No, that would still be one eighth. 
gotta kill a bug. So that would still be that would still be one eighth. So here. I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this. It's dumb. I think it's dumb. But, here we go. We're gonna do it the Walmart way. Take this shit. Alright, and then you do... Okay, well... Off to a fun start. Oh, that's right. Some of it was like in there. There we go. Doing it the Walmart way. Don't know why. Okay, there's there's one fourth so far. And then you're supposed to like. Dump it in one of these bags, right? Is what literally the thing says. And then you do another, so it's got to be one eighth. Oh. Doing it the Walmart way. The Walmart way. Alright, there's there's one eighth. Alright, and then you do Yeah. And then you do that and then that's it. You're done. No flour, no eggs. None of that. And then you just dunk. First off, you are doing a pain for no reason. There we go, okay. And then, hello, I'm still here. And then, shake chicken or pork one or two pieces at a time in shaker bag with one packet co coating mix. Disregard bag and any other remaining mix. So you, if there's any remaining mix, you just Dump it. Okay. Shaking. 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 Alright. Shaking some more. Getting a little more in there. Right. As you guys clearly see, I'm doing this the Walmart way. I don't, I don't like it, I think it's weird, here I'll, I'll do this, really, really get it, in there. there you go, and there you go, I did it the Walmart way, the non-fun way, and then you just take it out, and there you go, I guess it's done, look at that, Oh, you got a whole eighth of a pouch? Can't use that. Got to dump it. it you just got to throw it away. It's contaminated. Just... What is the point of that? That is perfectly good seasoning mix that is still can be used because it's going on the same item, which is the chicken. I don't... Gah. The Walmart way. <laughs> Alright, now that you've seen the Walmart way, I'm going to do it the actual, like, old school fun way. So, I'll be back. We're back. Now we're doing it the actual fun old school non-Walmart way. Here's what you do. Also, the angle is going to be a little weird. I'm sorry. I just, I don't, I don't have the best camera equipment. I'm, I'm one guy making a YouTube channel 
cooking vids and I'm using one camera. I'm sorry. But, okay. The fun way. You take a drumstick. You take flour, egg, breadcrumbs. Oh, and I made sure to use a separate batch. Oh, don't forget, guys. Man, it would be a real shame if you just used the exact same breadcrumbs you just used. It's things like this. It's thing. It's just. It's things like this. All right. Flour. Wait. This. Flour. Wow. Look at that. You throw some flour on your chicken, and it's got this nice little coating, and you make sure there's plenty of flour, and there's lots of good, good love in it. And you're like, oh man, that's got a lot of flour in it. And oh man, it's gonna, it's gonna be home fried and crispy. And look at that, it's got flour, right? Then you take your egg white, you you throw it in. Use your other hand. Don't don't use your dry hand. Use your wet hand. You have to have a dry hand and a wet hand. This is your dry hand. Don't don't mix your dry hand with your wets. Don't mix your wets with your dries. All right, ready? Cool. Then you take you take your 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 well, your wets. Right there's your wets, and we just gonna whoop. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's got all them wets. Look at all them wets. Right, look at all them wets. Oh my good. Look at all them wets. Man, these are going to be some good wets, right? There's some good wets. Look at that. Wet, right? And you got your wets. You got your breadcrumbs that are fresh. And you go, boop. And use your dry hand for the dry stuff. And you'll mix it all about. You throw it on there. You know, and you just, you just have fun with it. Just sprinkle it on there. Just... So get it nice and coated, right? Just have some fun. Pat it down a little. Name it Gertrude. Or Veronica. Or if you're into other people, uh, if, if you're into women, Veronica or Gertrude. If you're into men, I would say, I, I don't know, I, I prefer Greg or like a Daniel. I think Daniel's a really hot name. Although I, I'm, I kind of like Steven. Steven's kind of sexy too, but I prefer Daniel or Ryan. Yeah, call it Ryan. And if you're non-binary or trans or, you know, uh, different identities, I guess, uh, maybe like a, uh, like a Stefan, Crystal, uh, maybe like a, a Trevor. I, I think a tre actually Trevor would be a good name. Name it, name your chicken. Give it some love, right? Look at that. It's all mostly breaded. A few holes, but that's the fun part. Then, this is the super fun part, right? You do this. Wow. You can't notice the difference. <laughs> Not at all. There's no difference. Alright, two down, three more to go. I'm going to finish cooking these. I'll see you for the next bit. Later. And we're back. So, unfortunately, because with the amount of seasoning that's in a packet, right, uh, and despite doing it two different methods, right, that one's the Walmart way. Looks okay. That one's the old school way. So flour, eggs, breadcrumbs, right? Here's the problem. There's not enough breadcrumbs in the seasoning and coating mix. So, because of that, I had to use whatever's left in the one bag. And it looks a little eh on some of this. But... It's still relatively overall coated, for the most part. 
minus some spots, right? But that's half the fun. But you'll notice that one of them, I did the Walmart way. The other one, I did the other way. Just so there's a difference. So I would say no matter the method, it's about equal. So, and I actually do have one drumstick left over that I might like, gr like grill or like, you know, pan fry or do something with. So, uh, because I'm not going, I'm literally not going to open up another one of these just to use on one drumstick. Gas dome. That's wasteful. Don't be wasteful. So, as for the egg whites, probably throw them out. So, anyhow, I've got beans and corn to go with it. There's that. And uh, I'm going to throw these bad boys in the oven for about... Most recipes are saying about 35 to 45 minutes at 400. So, I'm going to do that and take a look at them and make sure they're okay. And I'll see you next part. And welcome back to the final part. And I have cooked the chicken exactly the way the box says with the Walmart way versus the traditional way. That's the Walmart version. That's the traditional way. That's the Walmart version. That's the traditional way. I'm going to flip them over so that there's video evidence. One, two, three, four. Okay. Despite missing some breadcrumbs, I understand that I was working with one pouch. Why is it that the Walmart version looks extra greasy and oily as hell when I was told to cook it with no oil, no canola oil, no can, you know, vegetable oil, nothing at all. But the traditional ones, despite missing some breadcrumbs, actually look pretty good. Right? And a little flaky. And if you hear some background noise, it's because I am actually on the phone on Facebook right now with two of my best friends who I just got done ranting for about 20 minutes about Walmart chicken. Nick's and Renji Man. Say hello. Hi. Hello. So, they're here on the phone with me, right? I'm going to take a bite of the Walmart chicken, right? And here's what I want to do. Okay. Can you guys see me on Messenger? Yeah, I can see you. All right, everyone turn on your video cameras. We have to. Yes. Okay, fine. It will be for the bit. It's all right. All right. So, this is the chicken. I look so dark. You do yeah, look, no. there, you look very dark. There we go. Okay, this is the chicken. And these are my friends. I'm chilling. Chilling, right? So I have witnesses. I have witnesses. So that if I die from chicken, then we're good. Alright. Here's the Walmart version. After I clean off flour off my camera. There we go. Okay. Here's the Walmart version. Right? Y'all see it? Yep, yeah, I see it. Yeah. Eh. 
I'll admit, it's got a little bit extra crunch, right? It's not bad, but it's way too oily for no reason. Where the f is the oil coming from? Oh. Right, like, look at this. Okay, look at look at the side of it. Right. Well, like it's coming from the chicken. You think it's coming from the chicken? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because so, it's the same. It's almost the same thing as when you cook hamburger. When you drain the grease, that's probably where it's coming from. It's yeah. probably the meat itself. All right. So it's probably the chicken itself. Fair enough. Now, we're gonna try it the traditional way. Okay, the flour, eggs, breadcrumbs, a little bit of mama's love, a little bit of fighting in the kitchen, pots and pans are being thrown, you name it. Alright, here we go. Mmm. 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 How is it that that's way crunchier, way juicier, and I taste less oil? Because it's the correct way to make it? <laughs> yeah, I'm with her on this one. I'm sorry, repeat that one more time for the eyewitnesses. Because it's the correct way to make it. It's the correct way to make it. It's the correct way to bread chick. A five-year-old! can learn how to bread chicken in their parents' kitchen better than Walmart can give instructions on a damn box. And this is why I'll personally fight Walmart in, parking, in a Denny's parking lot. Mmm. 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 Yeah, I think we have a clear winner. Mmm. We have a clear winner. Clear. Yep, no question. With that in mind, I'm gonna eat some chicken and some green beans and a little corn maybe, and a little something, something, and I'm gonna bullshit with my friends for a bit because I love them, and it's always good to have them on video and, you know, do these bits with my friends because they're great friends, and, you know, I love them. So, um... I Oh, you're missing some mashed potatoes. See. Yes, mashed potatoes would be good. Mashed potatoes sound good. Too bad I can't eat mashed potatoes. Wish I could. Well, I mean, you can always make uh, mashed potatoes, but use uh, cal cauliflower. You know what? Okay. Bonus bet. How do you do cauliflower and mashed potatoes? There's recipes online. You can Google it. It's pretty easy. But would you mash the cauliflower, or would you, like, just yeah, basically... So I think I did it once before, um, because this is when I was, like, real, I was into, like, Weight Watchers and stuff. Um, but I think you cook the... You, you basically, um, boil the cauliflower, and then, like, once it gets to, like, a certain softness, you just drain it, you drain the water and everything, and then you just, like, mash it with, like, a potato masher, and then boom. We're going to have to make cauliflowered mashed potatoes at some point then. And now, that's it for this video. Say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye.